Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. It's been 15 years since we've had a taste of Power Pros, but it looks like Konomini is finally answering our prayers with a little help from the World Baseball Softball Confederation. And oh boy, did they deliver. The launch of eBaseball Power Pros was like a pop-up home run. One minute we were just scrolling through and watching Nintendo Direct, and the next, boom, our jaws hit the floor. But enough about my reaction, let's talk about the game. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you a grand tour of all the exciting things you can do in eBaseball Power Pros, as well as a little bit of background on how this masterpiece came to be. So grab your peanuts, Cracker Jacks, and let's play ball. But before we start this video, let's make a little deal. If this video gets 500 likes, I'll bring you an epic gameplay episode playing against some of the top-notch opponents online. Deal? Good? All right, hit the like button. So let's take a trip down memory lane to 2006, where Konami dropped powerful Major League on PS2 and GameCube. And just when we thought it couldn't get any better, they gave us MLB Power Pros 2007 and 2008 on PS2 and Wii. Now the first iteration of the game had all the MLB teams, but it was a shame that it wasn't available in English. But the fans spoke. We rose up, and in 2007, Konami teamed up with 2K to bring the game to the United States. Talk about a grand slam. God, I'm getting so cringy with these, like, analogies. I've been hearing a lot of buzz about the game being the childhood of so many people, and I have to say, it was certainly mine too. Now, the critics loved it. 83 out of 100 on Metacritic, but commercially, it was a little bit of a different story. The game reportedly only sold a measly 230,000 copies, and had to face some tough competition with MVP Baseball, The Bigs, MLB The Show, MLB 2K7, also hitting the market that year. But Konami and 2K didn't give up that easily. They brought the game back to the US in 2008, and I have to say, this is my favorite one. This game is considered one of the best baseball video games of all time, but unfortunately, it still didn't sell well with less than 110,000 units sold. But hey, quality always wins in the end. It was a tough blow for Power Pros in the US, despite putting together an impressive fourth iteration of the game, Konami made the difficult decision to no longer release in the US. But little did they know, this was just the beginning of the Power Pros journey. In Japan, Power Pros went on to become one of the most profitable franchises on consoles and mobile apps. Fast forward to today and the game is now the king of baseball experiences. With the newly released 22 version, you can play an unlimited number of seasons in franchise mode with nip on baseball teams. You can even create your own league from scratch and do that. You want to be the mastermind and be a director of a high school team and build them into a franchise powerhouse for hundreds of years? You got it. Feeling adventurous? Want to play a single player visual story mode? You can do that too. You want to conquer the competition, take on other teams, you can do that offline with PowerFest or even online as well too. And the best part, all the players and teams you create and customize are organized for your own to play. It truly is a game that will blow your socks off. While Konami was killing it with Power Pros in Japan, a group of dedicated fans in the West were fighting for its return. That's right, I am one of them. As a member of the MLB Power Pros World Discord, I've collected and played every Power Pros game that's ever existed. And my mission has been to bring back this game to the West. I even started a Power Pros YouTube channel to try and spread the word. But guess what? The efforts have paid off. The wait is over and now we have an English Power Pros game. The first time in 15 years. In 21, the Olympic Virtual Series made a big splash with the eSports focused and Power Pros was one of those games that was in the Olympics. But the success of the series caught the attention of the World Baseball and Softball Confederation who signed a memorandum of understanding to develop a new baseball video game for a global eSports competition. Now, while the rumor mill was churning and the Power Pros community was abuzz with anticipation, suddenly a trademark for the game popped up. A logo then emerged shortly after, and then we all knew, without a doubt, a new Power Pros game was on the way. And so, with this Nintendo Direct that was on the horizon, the speculation that we might finally get to see what the game looked like, would it be called Power Pros? Could it be? And then the moment arrived, and there it was, in all its glory, an English version of Power Pros. The crowd went wild, I nearly jumped out of my seat, and before you know it, the game was released to say, available to play today. It's like a modern day sports movie come to life or Apex Legends all over again. 
So alright folks, buckle up because the moment we've been waiting for has finally arrived. A Power Pros is out and about, live and ready for action on PS4 and Switch just for 99 pennies, a dollar. So what's in store for us for this latest addition to this legendary franchise? When you start the game, you're handed the reins to create your own very own custom team from scratch. Design your team's uniform, give them a name of your choice, and select from a whopping 300 success players to build your dream squad. And just like any good sports manager, you'll want to pay close attention to each player player's salary cap number, which will be displayed next to their name. So this will come in handy when getting to this online eSport mode, championship mode, that we'll dive into a little bit later. Upon beginning your experience with the game, you'll be asked to create your own custom team. You can customize your uniform, assign a team. Now while it's a disappointment that the game lacks proper uniforms and players, there's still hope that this change will come closer when we get to the actual World Baseball Classic here in a few weeks. Once you set up your profile, customize your team, built your roster, you're ready to play. You have several options to choose from, including playing against a computer, playing couch play with up to four players participating in an offline league or offline tournament with up to eight teams or diving into the main attraction the online esport mode championship mode in championship mode you can challenge your friends into quick play matches or enter a tournament with specific team building requirements it's important to carefully consider your choices when assembling your team the tournament consists of three inning games against other competitors with prizes awarded upon the tournament's conclusion and completion and you get cp championship points. While the game experience might be a bit light, it is still a cause for celebration, making it the first Power Pros game in English since 2008. With this in mind, my aim is to grow the game and convince Konami to localize it in the US, the full Power Pros game, with all those modes we talked about earlier. To do so, I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit ham. Team building tips, gameplay tips, challenges, friendly battles, all being produced consistently on my dedicated Power Pros YouTube channel. And probably some here, but it really depends on if you like this if you want to see more of this uh, just let me know down in the comments if not though power pros channel is for you go follow there for more so hopefully you grab the game 99 cents there's no excuses join on the fun challenge me and i hope you're up for it so until the next one we'll see you peace